everyone, welcome to today's video. So today we are going to talk about Jadavpur University, a very popular university of West Bengal and the life at JU or life at Jadavpur University. And I will be talking about it because I am an alumnus, a proud alumnus of Jadavpur University, which is ranked among one of the best universities in the country. And today I am going to tell you why. What is so special about Jadavpur University? How is life at Jadavpur University? What is the hostel life? What is the campus life? What is the course all about? The course structure, uh, the internships, the life projects, the opportunities there on the campus and off the campus, uh, as well as I will be discussing with the with you the placements, which is the much highlighted topic of Jadapur University, the entire ecosystem, you know, there are a lot of rumors about Jadapur University as a place, uh, they tell it the hub of protest, I'm going to talk a bit about that as well, why is it called so, and what is so special about that university, I'm going to talk about, take you through the journey of my eight semesters at Jadapur University, and when I talk about it today, it has a special place in my heart. I am a proud alumnus and I am a privileged and honored to talk about Jadapur University as a place. And now when I take you on that journey, the first day you enter Jadapur University, you will be mesmerized to see the ecosystem because it is a university after all. You know, engineering, you do not get to see it in universities every day. There are a handful of universities who actually cover engineering as a course and they are this popular. Uh, one of them is definitely Delhi University, DU. Uh, then you see uh, IIT BHU which has recently you know in, in 2013 I guess it has turned into an IIT before that it was Benara Sindhu University so it's also an university apart from that you see uh, JU is that university from West Bengal which covers engineering as, and is ranked in one of the topmost universities of the country covering uh, engineering courses so JU is a must first uh, thing that I would cover uh, is because of the fact that it is an university in itself so when you move into a university you meet with culturally diverse people academically diverse people which gives you a lot of exposure the kind of person i am today the kind of uh, uh, videos that i make or whatever i do is because of the fact that i studied in jadavpur university for four years which completely changed my perspective because of the kind of people i met throughout i you, you get to meet people from different courses from sociology from history from physics from mathematics from filmmaking and then from engineering not one or two kinds of engineering, production engineering, pharmaceutical engineering, chemical engineering, civil engineering, mechanical engineering, electronics and telecommunication engineering, computer science engineering, uh, electrical engineering, uh, construction engineering, power engineering, IT, all of these are covered by Jadapur University itself. Uh, I might have missed a couple of courses. Metallurgical is one of the metallurgical and material science engineering. Food technology uh, uh, is uh, one of them as well. Printing engineering is one of them. Uh, so, you know, it covers a diverse curriculum which covers almost all the major and minor principles of engineering as a whole. And along with that, it hosts uh, science department which covers physics chemistry uh, departments as well it covers an arts and humanities departments which uh, covers uh, co the, the covers the subjects like sociology uh, like english like bengali uh, filmmaking and it also covers mathematics uh, as a as a major principle as well so you see the, you get to meet people from diverse academic backgrounds and uh, studying different subjects studying different things and then you get to meet the alumni of the college which keeps on visiting the college regularly today also when i go to uh, calcutta you know i definitely make sure that i visit jadavpur university at least once because that is the connect with the place and most of the alumni i'm pretty sure uh, you know is connected to the university like that uh, i in fact when i go uh, uh, nowadays as well i meet with a lot of juniors as well as a lot of seniors from 2014 2010 2005 as back as 2000s as well they come and visit the campus they make sure that they do that in fact reunions and all so you get a lot of exposure since it's a university that has its root in 1905 when it was not even called Jadapur University, it was Bengal Engineering College. Later, it transformed into Jadapur University uh, just before the independence. And uh, post that, you know, you understand the rich legacy that it has carried over last uh, 125 years, you know, more than that. In fact, our department in itself was established in the year 1921. So it is more than 100 years. So I'm a chemical engineering pass out. I can proudly say that I have been a part of an institute which has been existing there, which has uh, have its roots there for the last 100 years. So that's a big thing. The kind of alumni base that you get itself deserves an applause itself makes a lot of appeal in the sense that you 
get a lot of connections. Today, the group that we have in the alumni, um, we have a uh, have an alumni group which connects the alumni of all over the world, not only the country. Uh, our alumni are placed in the finest institutes, in the finest organizations, at the finest positions. They're the MD and CEO of organizations such as Musk, and then you see IOCL, ex-chairman, was also from uh, chemical engineering discipline of Jadavpur University. So you understand that they are at very powerful, prolific positions and they can give you a lot of industry insights as well as connections and exposure to the industry world. So the alumni connection is one of the greatest strength. The exposure to diverse culture is a greatest strength. Then how is the curriculum? The curriculum is an eight semester course. I'm talking specifically about engineering here and uh, I will a bit, uh, I will be a bit uh, you know, biased towards engineering in the sense that I am an engineering student. So I will be able to give you the perspective of engineering course much more, uh, uh, much more clarified in a much more clarified way than the humanities and arts department or the science and mathematics department uh, so talking about the uh, talking about the culture at Jadapur University uh, the, the, the course structure is at Jadapur University uh, at JU you get to study eight semesters so it's a semester system of uh, six months you get a lot of breaks in between you get uh, winter breaks you get summer breaks so you get to do a lot of uh, certifications if you want to apart from that you get a lot of uh, industry exposure uh, because at the end of your third third year you are expected to do an internship a summer internship some of the companies do come on campus if you secure an internship then you are expected to do, do it there otherwise you are expected to do an academic internship through multiple scholarship programs that are existing in the country like Indian Academy of Sciences and uh, then you have the SNBO scholarship a lot of scholarship and exchange programs that you can apply to um, apart from that uh, from our batch I was placed in the summer internship program uh, so seven eight people uh, were placed in the summer internship program and I was one of them uh, so I got to uh, work with PepsiCo India it's a great great exposure you know you are selected among the top 13 students in the country and then you get to work with the FMCG of that scale PepsiCo India uh, so internship was a win-win for me at least and uh, kind of stipend that you can expect in internship uh, what I got was the highest uh, stipend I got 32,000 per month I worked there for two months and I was working from the Kolkata location only so I could uh, save actually that 64,000 as a whole uh, but many of you might be placed in different locations and you will be getting somewhere around 20 to 25,000 and that's a good stipend uh, given that you are in, an engineering student particularly a chemical engineering student uh, in a code uh, company uh, but the exposure is extremely important apart from that the final placements let's come to the numbers you know people have been waiting for that uh, placement numbers are superb you know almost uh, i would not say 100 percent of the batch placement but 80 percent of the batch uh, has been getting placed since the last uh, four to five years what i've seen uh, except the covid period definitely you cannot uh, take that into consideration because the uh, things have not been good throughout the country throughout the world in fact but if you consider the years previous to COVID, our year as well, and then the years in the last two to three years, uh, the placement has been superb, to be very honest. In the last couple of years, the placement has been more than 80% of the batch has got placed in good companies. There have been core companies, there have been non-core software companies as well, and they have been offering good salaries. The average stipend has also touched uh, uh, 8 to 10 lakhs, and that's not a bad salary uh, for a starting salary as a chemical engineer in the industry. And for some cases in a software or non core uh, companies the salary has touched somewhere around uh, 17 18 20 25 as well so uh, some fantastic performance by our junior place com as well really really appreciative on that so the placements are also a win-win in Jagupur University so uh, you understand that there are a lot of breaks there are a lot of opportunities as you understand that uh, due to the exposure of the alumnus as well as a uh, exposure to the world as a whole you get to learn a lot of new things apart from that what i would say uh, because of this curriculum structure, you get to work in a lot of uh, clubs and committees. There is this entrepreneurship cell, which our juniors were the most active part of. Unfortunately, I couldn't be a part of ESL JU. Uh, that's why I'm fulfilling it in uh, VGSOM ID Kharagpur. I'm a part of entrepreneurship cell here, but was not a part of entrepreneurship cell there. But entrepreneurship cell is really doing good. Apart from that, there is a science club. There is a music club. There is a drama club. Uh, I was a part of the drama club, uh, Jadapur University. Uh, that was an excellent experience though uh, uh, 
couldn't sustain for a long period of time but definitely if somebody is very active and very enthusiastic about it they will be able to sail through so you get a lot of exposure to clubs and committees and different sen seniors through these clubs and committees too um, there is a completely, stu completely students affairs body which looks after this apart from this there are multiple fests your departmental fests will be there across the four years. Every year we'll be having something. First year we had freshers. Then next year we would be having chemathlon, which is a sports event of chemical engineering department. Third year, a technical event which chemical engineering department hosts for Pan India uh, called the Chem Innova or the Innova as a whole uh, in association with uh, the Indian Institute of Chemical Engineers. So IICHE and JU uh, holds it together. And last year we hold Cambridge, which is a reunion program this time we had a centenary celebration that is 100 years celebration uh, but generally pre-covid we used to have the reunion program which is Cambridge one of the most popular programs I was also a part of that I was the outreach and sponsorship head there so completely different experience again you get to meet a lot of alumni you get to talk with a lot of companies for the sponsorship programs and you get a lot of exposure when you talk to these people your people skills your communication skills improves a lot so it gives you a lot of exposure to conduct events to host events to talk to people to get exposure to different kinds of industries to different kinds of people and the curriculum offers a lot of spaces and gaps for internships for placement opportunities for certifications for club and committee work so absolute freedom and the kind of exposure to the alumni and to the current university students from different course and curriculum is the key here apart from that if you would be wondering what is the fees it is education for free almost at Jadapur University because uh, when you talk about the fees the fees is bare minimum of 10,000 rupees for a four-year course that is what we paid and if you apply for a TFW you will be even waived that amount and also if you apply for certain scholarships which i did you will be getting money from the institute to actually study i got twenty five thousand from the institute so i studied my entire btech for minus fifteen thousand so the institute gave me fifteen thousand to study at jadapur university that's the beauty of life at jadapur university the campus is extremely green the campus is extremely beautiful it's a 66 acre campus very small close-knit campus but with a lot of life in it uh, uh, the fees is extremely low the ROI is extremely high you pay a zero fees and get a 8 to 10 lakh core job and if you're getting into non-core some 18 to 20 lakhs job many people do crack uh, competitive examinations like gate this time our rank has been superb gate AIR 1 in chemical engineering from uh, Jadapur University itself gate AIR 50 if you would uh, refer to my previous videos you would get an interview of that person he's from Jadapur University fourth year as well so competitive examinations also it gives a lot of exposure because these people also you know appear for competitive examinations and the pedagogy is such that you get prepared for that that through and throughout so that is the beauty of the course it prepares you in every possible way in terms of placements in terms of competitive examinations in terms of life in itself Jadapur University JU teaches you life and the best ROI college hands down in the country without a hint of doubt I can say that I can vouch for that now if you talk about hostel life fantastic you get different learnings every day there there is a hostel completely different reunion and completely different things happening in the hostel itself you get to be a lot of uh, part of a lot of committees like the mess committee in the hostel you get a lot of exposure there apart from that you have regular alumni of the hostel coming in the real learnings of the hostel do come in from there you become strong for the world out there uh, you really have close knit bonds which are not maybe made in colleges but rather hostels so hostel life is also fantastic fantastic there and if you would uh, ask me the rent of the uh, that the hostels charge it's meager 25 rupees per month at least it was that when we joined the course so you can understand how much bare minimum are they charging for uh, for this course so it's extremely extremely an extravagant experience with a minimum amount of cost it's a must go if you are getting Jadapur University nothing better than that uh, I believe that it is uh, at part to any other IITs and beyond that uh, beyond the IITs in terms of ROI at least so uh, and the and the exposure part as well uh, in terms of culturally diverse background 
so this is it uh, talking about the controversial part i i would again you know i, I told that i would speak a, a small part about that as well so talking about the controversial things in 2013 we had the hook called up because of which we got into controversy but do you have the background of that when we talk about jadavpur university we always tell that people hold placards there they do a lot of protests there but what is the protest for jadavpur university gives you a backbone a backbone to stand strong and say that this is wrong this is what it did to me at least you know uh, i i'm very afraid kid for from the background that i come from not a very financially viable not a very financially stable background so i have always been afraid throughout my life i have heard a lot from people but ju probably gave that backbone that power that courage to me to say to the world this is wrong and i will snatch away my place i will be what i am capable of and that power when you see other people's protest against the wrong protest against the oppression protest against everything for their own rights you get the feel that you can do it too ju gives you that feeling if you study the background of uh, hope color up you will understand why hope color up happened on the first place why the protest was there why do ju protest everything with everything that is wrong in the society somebody comes in at your home you know uh, destroys it completely or talks ill about you about your parents and you stay silent you just listen to that person and think that chhodo jhamela ho jayega chhod ke you go away that is most of the what most of the educated people today do so education as a system is probably making us weaker whereas it was supposed to make us stronger so ju gives a statement on that that education cannot be the barrier that will make us weaker that will make us avoid nuisance avoid chaos chaos is brilliant if you know how to fight against it so JU does that. JU fights for the rights of the students. JU fights for the rights of the country. So there should be uh, freedom in the in the people's minds, and uh, there should be uh, a, a, a feeling where you know that you have the freedom to speak and you have the freedom to do things. So that is what JU does. They give the gives you the platform. In yes, some cases, there might be exaggeration. I do not completely support that, but in most of the cases that we have seen over the past decade, JU has stood for the correct thing. So, talking about the chaos, there will be fight for independence. There will be fight for freedom. Never run away from that. Apart from the fight, you think that that is affecting us. The the year where we were involved in so much of chaotic uh, uh, ambience, our placements actually went up. People showed faith in us because we have that backbone. We have that. acumen we have that character within ourselves to do good in life that is what ju teaches us ju teaches us life period so that's it for today i think i'm covered most of it it was an emotional video taking my tour back to my campus days uh, i would like to conclude and call it a wrap if you like it like it share it with your friends subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon for regular updates we will keep on bringing techno management videos for you day in day out Uh, that's it for today thank you very much